Do you want to come to your university and talk to you? Embrace you? Listen to you? Understand what you are facing? And try and see in my own little way if I could have helped you. Now what happened? The Home Minister of India, the Home Minister of India, called up the Chief Minister of Assam. And then the Chief Minister of Assam's office called up your, the leadership of your university and said that Rahul Gandhi must not be allowed to speak to the students of this university. Right? Now, why, why is it important? It's not important that Rahul Gandhi comes or Rahul Gandhi doesn't come. That's not important. What is important is that you are allowed to do anybody you want to listen to. Now, this is taking place not only in Assam. This is taking place in every single university, college and school of India. You are being told that you must blindly obey the RSS and the leadership of this country. You are being told that you should not have your own imagination. You are being told that you cannot speak your own language. You are being told that you cannot have your own history. That is what is going on here. So what is being done is you are being made blindly obedient. They are trying brothers and sisters to turn you into slaves. And I know, and I know that nobody, no force in this universe can ever turn you into slaves. It is not possible. So what I want to leave you with is this country belongs to you. This country has to follow your imagination. And nobody, nobody should be allowed to prevent you from imagining and thinking about the India that you want. Nobody should be able to stop you reading or writing in any language you want. Nobody should be able to stop you from listening, reading your tradition, your culture, your history. It's not about, it's not about Rahul Gandhi coming here. That's the least important thing happening here. It is about you having an imagination, you being allowed to do what you want.